Mina, Ohio Xymus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Back with more Psalms. This is going to be Psalm 9 again today. Whereas yesterday I had a little bit of a, an exhortation and a little bit of a rebuke, I figured I would follow up today with um, a word of encouragement and kind of something to pump you up. And instead, of, instead of like, uh, you know, saying, okay, this needs to be corrected, saying, you know what? This can be corrected. Things can be made right, even if they're not. So yeah, want to drop that you, you guys' way. That was, that was good English right there. So Psalm 9, I'm going to do verses 9 and 10. And it says, The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Because yesterday I was talking about serving the Lord, praising Him with your whole heart. And when you do then you will tell of all of his marvelous works. And some obviously that, that rebuke will apply to some people. Some people aren't serving God quite the way they need to. The good news, even if you're in a position where you're not currently serving God, maybe you're in a position where you don't even believe in him. I just want to let you know that God still loves you. He's still for you. He's still on your side. Jesus still died for you. The cross and the blood are still available at any time you wish to ask him into your life and at any time you want to get your path, your life back on track with the Lord. If you're currently, uh, you know, if you're currently not one of those who seeks him or puts your trust in him, you can be. You can be. He's right there and he will be that refuge in times of trouble. If you seek him, He'll answer. Some, and sometimes it takes, those, it takes those times where we need refuge in order for us to seek Him. Not necessarily mean some miracle is going to happen and all of a sudden your situation is just magically better. He's not a genie in a body. You don't just like rub the lamp and, okay, God, this is what I want. That's not how it works. He's the master. You're the servant. And if you want His forgiveness and you want His love, all you've got to do is extend your arms. He's right there. And he's ready, willing, and waiting to give those things to you. And even if he doesn't provide some miraculous cure or miraculous way out of the situation you're in, please know that when you go to him and you sincerely start seeking him, you sincerely start putting your trust in him, he will answer. Maybe not in the way you're anticipating. Maybe with not the thing you think you need to get out of the situation. But you will have his love. You'll have his joy. You'll have his peace. You'll have the presence of God in the middle of that hard time. So don't wait. Start seeking Him today. Because the sooner you start seeking, the sooner you're going to find. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.